I'm Barrington Boscott. I'm here at the uh, grand opening of the uh, Hair Remedy Beauty College, and we're so excited. Uh, with, with me this, this evening is Remedy. Uh, tell us about your vision and how this came about and, and who, was, who, who were the persons that influenced you uh, to, to, to live out your dream. Well, how the, how the vision came about was um, I decided as being a hairstylist for over 15 years, I was like, well, I wanted to do something that I can be able to empower others. So I decided to, you know, open a hair, open a hair school. Um, it wasn't an overnight process, of course, but it took time. And so here, starting October 1, we decided to actually launch it. And so this is why we're here today. And one of the persons who um, was influential to me, was a great influence on my life, was, of course, the school that I attended was Dudley Beauty College um, in Washington, D.C. Um, I just loved Dudley Beauty College. I mean, it was a college who taught us how to handle our business. It was a college that taught us about the theoretical and the practical of, of the cosmetology um, field, um, knowing your craft, um, knowing the educational part of your craft. And, and I'm just so happy to stand alongside one of my one of the pioneers, is, and that is um, Mr. Deli, who's right here beside me. So I just thank God for allowing me to just run through the path of Dudley Beauty College, and now to have my own, which is um, Hair Remedy Beauty College, is it's just so great. It's it's, it's, it's an awesome feeling. We've got the uh, hair icon here, Mr. Alfred um, Dudley, and Mr. Dudley, just tell us a little bit about you know you and your success over the years, but also how does it feel to see one of your, your students uh, 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 get to where you are? So often we talk about passing a, passing a torch, but it's very seldom that we see people who are willing to do such. So please tell us about your journey, where you got to, and how it feels for you to see uh, Hair Remedy do her thing here at the New Beauty College. Well, the exciting thing is to see one of our students could become an entrepreneur. That's why we uh, teach is we teach them to become entrepreneurs, to be job makers instead of job takers. And so I'm so excited to see her branch out and become an entrepreneur. I worked hard. Uh, first, I worked on a job, and I realized that the job was not going to take me where I wanted to get to. A job, and I always say job, J-O-B, just over broke. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I always want to become rich, so it, it's not until I... Uh, I became an entrepreneur that I became rich, and I'm, and now I want to become famous, so I'm working on it now, <laughs> uh, become famous when I have one of my students become an entrepreneur. Well, we, we, we know that your product has been out for many years. Could you tell us some of the places your product is, is being uh, um, uh, sold, and what cities, what countries, what have you? Well, we first started in 1967, where my brother made the first product, in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, he made it in his kitchen. Today, you can find that product all over the United States and in seven foreign countries. So, and it's still growing and going many places, and people really like the product. And so, we, we really had a successful uh, entrepreneurship through uh, uh, the products. The products have taken us a lot of different places. Okay. And, and we are known all over the United States and foreign countries because we make a good product and we uh, plan to uh, keep this product and not sell it like most of our counterparts have. We <laughs> plan to keep it in our race to help our people. Well, of course, this evening is about you, Remedy, and your college. And one of the other things that um, is so important is that you, you started a non-for-profit, a 5013C. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Well, the nonprofit, um, the nonprofit organization that we have is it's pretty much to help those ones who are less fortunate that cannot pay for their schooling, you know, by themselves. So we want to kind of help them and defray some of the costs. Um, and that's what the um, Hair Remedy Training Academy is all about. We want to help fund them so they won't have to pay the full tuition um, if you didn't have it. So I, I, I'm just so grateful for the nonprofit organization because we we just want to be able to help. We want to help those ones who are the least, the last, and the lost. That's what I say. The least, the last, and the lost. We want to be able to help them and empower them and then let them know that you, you, you're you not alone, that we you know you have support and we want to be that support for them. Well, I've, I've put it out there, uh, Remedy, that in five years, we're going to all come back and we're going to see not only you being so much more successful, 
Uh, we're gonna bring Mr. Dudley back, and I've, I've told your, your 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 folks that we're gonna probably have two or three more millionaires in, in our in our presence during that time. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to thank you both for this interview, and uh, on behalf of ENC uh, Network News, thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. We're here at the Hair Remedy Beauty College with uh, the the one and only Dr. Carolyn Cuff. If you could tell me, Ms. Cuff, how you and, and Remedy got together and uh, a little bit about your history as well. Well, thank you so much for asking me that question. And Felicia, thank you so much for inviting me out today. Actually, I met Felicia. She was referred to my business. And she came to me on my very first day over at the National Harbor. I've been over there three years now. She was my first client when I went there. And she wanted me to help her open her beauty school in Washington, D.C. And we began working on that project. And it's been a work in progress because she had to find a building. And now she's finally found a building in Maryland. She has opened, and she is a beautiful, beautiful person. I don't just say that because you're asking me. She's really a beautiful person. She's a gung-ho. She's beautiful outside and inside, always looks good. She's done my hair. I know you can't tell now, but yes, she has. <laughs> and she does a great job. I mean, your hair really look good when you walk out of her place. So, out of, you know, after she's done the hair. And uh, I just love having the opportunity to meet her. And today I even got a lot, a lot more inspiration. Uh, also, not only from her and her music, but from her Mr. Dudley as well do better than you know just mediocre just do great mm -hmm. and everybody says so many great things about you felicia and i'm just so thankful and we're going to work together to grow your college thank you so much not just just little school but your college i love it thank you so much okay <laughs> you're welcome now how did you really um come about in terms of finding dr cuff and, uh, you know, Dr. Cuff has been around the, the D.C. metropolitan area and, and has done so many wonderful things, and hopefully she'll talk about those things. And we know tonight is your night. But how did you come to, to know uh, Dr. Cuff? Well, I believe that God works in mysterious ways. And in this particular case, um, I have been to several other people, and I went to them and asked them, um, could you do a business plan for me? Um, and I need that 501c3. I kept going to different people, and it just seems to flop. And I, a colleague was telling me about Dr. Cuff. She works at the BMW dealership. She told me about Dr. Cuff that she did her did hers for her, and she and it and it was awesome. So I went over there. She was always, I called her. She said that I'm in my new location at the harbor, and she said you can come and see me. So I went to see her, and I was her very first client. She has been an awesome, awesome person to help me in achieving my goal. Um, and, it, and you know, I, you know, a lot of people can do a lot of talking, but she produces. And I, I'm standing here today, this is why this college is right here today, is because of her untiring time to help me to establish what I needed to do um, and I'm just so blessed. I'm so blessed to know her. I mean, she's just phenomenal. I, I thank God every day for her. And I have my 501c3, and I also have my business plan. So I, I was just, I was just so, just so overwhelmed that she produced. So I, I'm, I'm just so grateful, and I thank God every day for her. And I'm glad that we came into um, friendship. Um, as well as uh, uh, she just tutors me all the time too, so so I'm like her little protege in certain areas, of, and you know so. But um, yeah, but that's how I met her, and I'm just so grateful that I met her. And I just want to thank Eric also uh, for allowing um, me to even stand right before him because he's such an awesome technician at what he does. So thank you, Eric, for just allowing me to just stand here and just share my testimony and just share from my heart. And um, God bless you, and I wish much success for you as well. Amen. We're here at ENC News Network. Thank you. ENC News.